Hi right, everybody, this is Big Thronecraft.com. Today we're going to talk about the True World, which happened this last weekend. So True World was a knockdown drag out. We won it, the Alliance won, uh, took it down, got the Empress title. Second place was GFY in a very amusing fashion, which I'll talk about at the end there. Incredibly well played by them in order to pull off second place. Third place is AVE, fourth was ROE, fifth was Devo, I believe, and then you've got uh, DGL and SVS uh, also making it showing in there, and so, and PSY. It was a incredible event. Like, it was a lot of fun. You can see there's a ton of rallies, troops flying everywhere. There's a 90% revive reduction, so there was a ton of attacking going on in the forest. You had the 1500 HP and attack buff when you're sitting in the forest, and just the bottom line that we learned from this is that you basically have to have 30 people in your rally. As you see right there, we get bumped out by Ulyss. Ulyss was a monster. Uh, massive stats. AVE was hitting like a truck. Tess was obviously hitting like a truck. The one players did a fantastic job of being online for 24 hours and filling and refreshing and pulling and refreshing and sending more troops and filling rallies and the freaking sanctuaries, which we had to rotate and take over and over and over and over again. So if I knocked you out of a sanctuary this weekend, it's because we were having to rotate in order to get the dragon buff. So, sorry, not personal. Uh, I Trust me, I did not want to be hitting those sanctuaries either. But what I'm going to show you here is, uh, number one, I'm going to go over the hero at the end of this video. So I'll talk about the Flaming Knight hero that came out as well. I've been getting a lot of questions about him. But just overall, very well played by everybody. AVE uh, put up an incredibly solid fight. You know, when, when it was active at True World, it was a ton of fun. There were rallies just flying in. And, you know, we're ra uh, rallying up as well. You see, Ulyss takes it right there. Uh, we've been holding this rally, waiting for that to happen. And so we've been waiting on 30 players to get in. See the rally goes in, and as soon as the rally lands, look what I do. I pull my troops, I speed them home, I target it, I send them back in. And the reason for that is because every single rally hit between us and AVE, when both of us had around 80 million troops, was looking like that. It was uh, 40 million plus kills uh, for each side. And you see the stats there are ludicrous up through the roof, like over 17k attack. I mean, it was massive. And so here's another hit right here, knock AVE out. And what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to show you, see how I pull, speed out, speed in. And the reason I'm doing that is because look at this. Another rally lands, and then another rally is going to land after that, and another rally is going to land after that. And so that's why you saw all of these marches while we were holding, flying in and flying out and flying in and flying out. And it was just the, the fillers doing an incredible job of keeping their marches as big as possible. And you see me not be able to get the damn thing targeted, so I have to zoom all the way in on it because I went full idiot right there. So, see, Euless bumps us out. Speed home. Look how close this was. Oh, not this one. That one, we only had 67 million troops. So that's what I'm talking about. That's the big difference that the troop count makes. As soon as we get knocked out, we get a rally set. We're waiting for 30 people to go into it. And you're going to see we're going to get up to 29 people. And last True World, once you got up like over 25, you sent it. You just, you go at that point. This time, you needed to wait to fill up. You see, we're at 29. We got 82 million. A lot of times, we'd send right there. This time, no, we're waiting because the fight is so close. And it was doing, you know, these stats are so razor thin. See, we hit, we knock them out, and then I'm going to speed my troops home. I'm going to refresh them again, like I was talking about, because invariably, there is going to be another rally come flying in. Here it comes. Or, you know, there's going to be multiple rallies come flying in. And then I'm looking at the uh, at the capital and seeing that there are still marches that haven't been refreshed. So you see everybody saying to refresh your marches, see the little ones getting pulled out and sent back in. But look at this. This was odd. It was shown as there was siege in a lot of the marches. And a lot of the marches did have siege, but just one. And I don't know why. Look how close this one was, though. 57.417 to 57.457. We won that one by 40k troops. So that's why the troop count mattered so very much. That's why you saw these marches flying in and flying out of the uh, Imperial Castle like that. All weekend long, when we were holding, this is what our Alliance defense screen looked like. 14 rallies, 15 rallies, 16 rallies. You know, we're refreshing these troops because we're taking hits like a machine gun. And this is also what it looked like at the end whenever GFY took second place. And what was hilarious about that is that the way they pulled that off, you see here's Scuba, was just impeccable timing. So you see this this cast, this screen right here. I didn't get it recorded at the end when GFY was in second place, but the way that GFY won that is everybody 
that wasn't already in the castle was basically holding a rally, waiting to launch it at the very end. They wanted to launch at the end, they wanted to hit at the very end, and they wanted to get those three hours of hold time. Because if you're holding the castle at the end, you get three hours of hold time. Obviously, that was good for second place this time around. So what Scuba did is he launched a little bit earlier, and he landed a little bit earlier, you know, just faster than everybody else. He hit his speeds faster than everybody else did. So while everybody else was marching, trying to get there in the last second, Scuba took it with like 10 seconds left. So that means that everybody else's marches all bounced automatically. So it looked like Scuba was just a tank, just, you know, reflecting all these rallies. It looked like he took like 50 rallies and bounced all of them. Um, and I'm sure he did bounce quite a few of them because, I mean, he was a beast. He chopped me out of a sanctuary uh, one of the times. But it was just really funny to watch, you know, all of these rallies. Basically, the entirety of every big alliance in Iron Throne all rallied at the same time. And Scuba just bounced all of them. And the reason for it was because he took it first. The castle changed hands and when the castle changed hands you have to reset your rally that's why timing was so important for it so well played by gfy that was an incredible second place that was really funny well played by ave as well um whenever whenever that castle was going it was really really fun so flaming knight a lot of people asking should i buy him for my guard captain no buy him because he's a good attack hero he's just as strong as death lord he's just as strong as infidus he's just as strong as those other big top guys but he's an attack hero because that's what his world stats are there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody.